Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it uh, be. Judgment is final. All right, so you may have someone coming towards you with some half truth. Yeah, they're coming towards you to tell you something. <laughs> you know, they don't know what you know. They want to know what you know. So someone is coming to you. You're the queen of cups. I mean, the queen of wands in this situation. You could be a queen of cups too since that's coming out. Um, and then there's another queen of wands in here that is burdened because something is out. She may have lost something because she took some type of action in the past that she was not meant to. But rest assured that there is someone coming towards you to give you some type of truth. Um, this came out sideways, so I'm going to put it in the reverse. This person is coming towards you to give you half truths, which means it's a whole damn lie. Uh, because there is some type of trap this person was setting for you that you narrowly escaped. It's almost as though someone was trying to steal something from you, steal a ten of pentacles from you, but they weren't able to. They're going to have to move on because this is something your ancestors or the universe have destined. You may have your ancestors watching over you, uh, interceding on your behalf and things of that nature. And something is being looked into, especially when it comes to your et your ethics, your morals and things like that, your strength, your tenacity. There may be some type of court case going on when it comes to a ten of pentacles or a family that's been doing a lot behind the scenes to steal or to keep something that does not belong to them. And all of this is coming to an end. You could have an emperor out here, an emperor in reverse that's paying someone to come and do you something because he's so greedy and so obnoxious. Someone is determined to know when it is two people are coming together so that he can make some type of move to block these two people from coming together. Um, but there's a queen of wands out here that is worried really ain't having a lot of anxiety someone may even be crying behind the scenes um because you were able to escape some type of trap that she has set it's like someone was setting you up for you to basically go to prison or for you to go to jail or for her to steal something from someone um this is something she's been investing in for a long time so this woman is going to have to move on with her life because whatever it is she's been plotting is just not coming into fruition for her she's burdened that people know exactly what action she was taking behind the scenes to pay to block someone else's new beginning and have you left out in the cold um so someone is very impulsive and reckless someone has been doing something for a very long time just thinking like she was gonna she was going to be able to secure the bag that way. But this is a woman that's going through a lot of losses. People may be di uh, distancing themselves from this woman because the truth is out when it comes to who who this Ace of Pentacles belongs to. Here you are about to have your new beginning, uh, uh, your victory, your Ace of Pentacles. And she's worried, right? Going through losses. The whole friend group, everybody she was working with, they are going through losses. It's the whole family, not just the friends. It's the family, the friends, the fake friends. Everybody's going through losses having to cut their excuse me for the for the repetition they're having to cut their losses and move on um there may be some type of relationship that came to an end someone may be crying a lot behind the scenes and it will be this queen of wands that's grieving as well something just backfired horribly um the sad part is that this is someone that's been showing up in a lot of the readings for quite a long time just causing a lot of conflict, competing with other people for their destiny, feeling like she's better than everybody else, but having put in the work. This is why she's having to walk away from something. There is some type of relationship that has come to an end, okay? Someone is standing their ground up to this woman. Like, they're in that don't come any farther. Like, I know who you are. You've been lying this whole time. You're a whole facade. Everything about you is a lie. You're toxic as heck. I want to move on with my life. There's a whole community of people that may even be separating themselves from this woman. They may even be embarrassed to be associated with her or to be affiliated with her. Something she's done that has to do with the legal system is out here being looked into. So there's something this woman, woman either took something she lied about maybe she filed some type of false police report on someone repeatedly um because someone just wanted to dismantle your life someone may have some type of court case going on she could be 
in jail for the moment or this is where she's headed um so i don't know what is really going on as far as why someone was out here taking impulsive actions to have you locked up to have you trapped to try to steal your destiny this is a narcissist so of course that will explain everything because this is these are people that feel entitled to what belongs to other people they don't want to have to put in the work they don't want to have to put in the time the energy the resources anything they don't they don't care about getting things on merit they want to have things handed to them and the fact that something is being taken away from her has her burden confused worry and out here feeling embarrassed alone rejected basically everything this woman was trying to manifest for you is what she's going through yes this is what she was trying to manifest for you she was trying to manifest an emperor seeing her as wish fulfillment as a twin flame but this man is getting away from her as far as possible to get with a queen of cups that's been illuminated to him as his life partner so they are going to be moving forward together in a commitment these are people that are very wise beyond their years very strong uh these could be two ascended masters they are deciding to balance something out take charge of their life Someone has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes for a very long time, taking reckless actions and things like that. So this could be the Queen of Wands herself that's trying to come towards you to maybe tell you something that she thinks you don't know. Uh, but when either this is the Queen of Wands or a King of Wands that's coming towards you to tell you something they think you don't know. But be on the lookout that when they come towards you, they're going to be telling you half true. So, you know, a half true is a whole lie because if you're not going to tell us the full the full truth, nothing but the truth. So help you source. You have no business coming towards or we're going to need you to stay where you are until you decide to do the right thing. And the right thing is telling the full truth. Okay. Someone could be out here burdened because a king of cups is, refi is receiving something that belongs to them. It could be you collective. Maybe this is you standing in your king of cups energy as a feminine, uh, but in your masculine king of cups energy, or this could be a masculine as well, regardless of the energy. Um, but someone is out here burdened because uh a king of cups escaped some type of trap they may have set for him they were trying to take this man out because he has decided to move on with his life someone has decided to self-actualize plan their life out and move on heal balance their life out invest in something new something abundant this man may have some type of new idea when it comes to uh, innovations and things like that and he knows this woman is not someone he can work with because this is not someone creative this is just someone that's very reckless in every way shape and form this is that one of those people you take to a meeting and they end up embarrassing you in front of a whole group of executives uh, while you all are doing business deals and things like that because they just don't know how to carry themselves or if they do know how to carry themselves it's all pretentious it's nothing genuine so they would more than likely be with this man for how it looks not because of the fact that they actually care about what is going on exactly it's because of how it looks behind the scenes this is this woman and then in the public eye this is her this is someone that pretends to be what she's not so in the public you'll find her to be very modest you'll find her to be very polite to be around but behind closed doors she's a nightmare and you're trying to get away from her as far as possible when you decide to separate yourself from this person this is the energy now they're feeling all rejected and isolated they're coming in to play mind games with you make you feel like you were the one who did something wrong when the whole time they were the ones that caused you some type of business deal maybe told a lie on you slender your character betray you but this is someone that gets a thrill out of playing mental games mind games with people causing confusions and things like that to the people around her she uses words to manipulate to cause burdens on people have them living in fear and anxiety blocking them from taking actions in their life and living in you know that hesitation should i do this should i not do this if i do this this is going to go ha this is going to happen oh my gosh i probably shouldn't do that let me go ask this person if this is a good idea this is one of those women that does something Thing like that but she may do it in such a calm and genuine way you think that she's actually genuine someone has mastered the art of taking on other people's personality to present herself to be in the upright so because she wants to be the number one choice for people every time she wants to be seen as genuine but all of this is coming to an end someone is standing their ground to her and leaving her out in the cold deciding to move on and see what other opportunities are out there for them because they want to have true love they may end up meeting their soulmate out here or just someone genuine in order to have this new beginning that's going to balance their life out someone of integrity and things like that 
something could be being balanced out which is leading to some type of tower for an empress behind the scenes uh this could be someone's mother someone's wife that has been living the levita loca wide causing blockages for other people, blocking offers and things like that for someone else, not wanting another person to have some type of new beginning. She says that someone else does not deserve it. They don't. She doesn't think that they should have their good life. It's like you being happy in life is a burden for someone else, another feminine energy or a masculine energy. And I just don't understand why something like that will bother another person. Um, but you know, when you're insecure and you know, not wanting to put in the work or not wanting to see things from a higher perspective, and this is when you put all of your energy into causing other people's loss, causing other people losses, uh, blocking other people, lying on other people. Uh, if you're greedy as well, because I'm hearing something about greed coming up, this has a lot to, to do with greed, jealousy, animosity, not wanting two people to come together either to work or for romance, to build a family, build an empire. They want this masculine or this feminine to leave you out in the cold, but this is what's coming for this queen of wands. I'm telling you, this woman, someone is in prison, I'm uh, in jail. I'm sorry, that eight of swords car is coming out too much. Someone is in jail, does not know what to do, maybe reaching out to her practitioner to see what is going on. Are you sending the negative energies that I ordered? Are you sending the death spells that I ordered? She is calling to ask for clarity. What is going on? Is the situation balanced out yet? Have the two of them met? Are they communicating? Are you in their devices? Blah, 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 blah. Have you sent the death spell? Have you sent the, sent the beauty spell? Have you sent the disease spell? Are they sick? Are they appearing sick? Baby, it's all an illusion. It ain't nobody sick out here. Everybody's healthy. You're the only one that's sick, but you don't know it. Your mental is sick. You don't know you're sick. And that's the truth you've been rejecting. Ain't nobody sick out here, baby. Everybody's healthy, living their best life. Okay, in the light community, baby, we're living our best life. Knowing that the universe is taking care of us. I saw a message today saying, be kind. Uh, and that's something I think I need to be insinuating or reiterating on my platform that we need to be kind to each other because there's someone out here that's very bitter. Um, there's a masculine and a feminine energy out here that's very bitter. They've been working together for a long time to block another person's uh, forward movement solely out of jealousy. You have emperors that are turning uh, on the dark side, blocking people's forward movements and things like that because they think it's going to turn out in their favor. So if you're around like a father figure, husband, a boss or something, they're doing things behind the scenes to prevent you from being able to move forward with your life because they want you stuck. They want to limit your options so they can have some type of control over you. This is a masculine that likes to have control over people. The only thing is that you, he's, you're not one of his subjects. You're not meant to be controlled by anyone. You are meant to live your life free. This is why all of these people are burning. I'm telling you, this woman is having a hard knock life, a hard time, okay? Pride comes before the fall. So someone is now going through the fall. Someone has been in the pride stage for a long time and now it's time for the fall. This woman is stuck Stuck in some type of union, maybe stuck in a union with a Sagittarius that's just like her. They both are toxic as heck. They may both not like you because you've illuminated some type of problem within their relationship based on you speaking your truth and things like that. Or maybe he saw you and he saw, sees you as a temperance energy, someone that's balanced, someone that's healed, someone that's easy to work with and is bothering her. She said they didn't have any problems with their toxicity before you came about. Now here you are speaking the truth telling him or showing him how a woman is actually supposed to carry themselves so she's bothered by that okay she may be out here trying to control something that does not even belong to her or keep something that does not belong to her and it's gonna backfire someone is like i don't this is your destiny this is your destination that's where you're headed in the penitentiary you will be serving time i think i yeah you're trapped and you will be serving time i've predicted it for predicted this for a queen of wines once a while back and I told her I had a dream that she got locked up. She got arrested. And, hey, she was still out here being reckless because she kept coming up in the reeds in the same energy. Now she's out here living in fear uh, about taking some type of action or the action that she took previously to cause someone some type of ending block, some type of communication, hinder somebody's confidence and things like that, wanting someone to live in fear, have them left out in the cold, unable to collaborate, not being seen, not being respected, not being seen as the truth, blocking their intuition, a whole lot of rituals. Again, she's in prison, in jail, calling her practitioner, asking questions. 
Did you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you. Calling her practitioner. Hey, 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 hey. Did you send the freaking death spell that I ordered? Did you send the confusion spell that I ordered? Baby, they, they're a uh, high priestess, whoever it is. They don't want to work with you. They got their own problems going on. You can cry all you want. Something is over. And I think she thought that someone was going to come rescue her. Ain't nobody coming to rescue you. You're going to have to either build yourself out. And I told this woman this before too. I've been doing, I've been keeping up with a group for a while and everything I told them was going to happen is happening. I told this woman she was going to get locked up. There she goes, stuck, trying to figure out how she's going to come out and still end someone. You got to know you're a special kind of stupid when you're locked up and you're still trying to figure out how you can block someone else's destiny. You may want to try to figure out how you can bond, bond yourself out of this situation. Um, but honey, you, she's burdened because something is being looked into. The truth is coming out about a whole group or community collaborating to temper with someone's pathway have them living in fear right tempering with their energy doing rituals and things like that to have them lose their stability have them pull out of a home okay and they are the ones losing their stability someone may have stolen a house moved into a house that did not belong to them and they've been out here living their best life pretending to be someone of high honor but the whole time they're a facade this is a queen of cups that's also look going going through some type of uh, disappointment in life, basically, for a lack of a better term. Someone is uh, throwing some type of temper tantrum because you're having a new beginning. You're still hopeful out here. You're still confident because these people want to have you not be confident. They said, we told you who you are. That's the limit. That's how far you can go. And then the universe is that you got us effed up in one in too many ways. That is not what we told that person they are. Okay? They are all that in a bag of chips and you are trapped in your toxicity and you need to go figure that out. Okay? We can't help you until you help yourself you got to help us help you you got to be what practical about this situation darling but this is not someone that operates with practicality clarity is out truth is out everything these people have been doing together someone may have even uh, uh went to a king of pentacles trying to get him trying to manipulate him into taking some type of action so that they could block you trap you in you i don't know who all of these people are honey but they just got too much going on for me there's just too much rituals going on to block someone's forward movement there's just too many rituals going on to have someone living in fear and it's not working but you keep doing the rituals over and over because literally Every re I do, something is coming up about rituals, voodoo, death spell, heart spells, all kinds of spell works being thrown at people out here in the spiritual community. And it's not working because these light workers are still waking up every day and ascending and balancing things out, going through atonement and all of that. And the universe is like, oh, they took a little bit. That's okay. We got more for you. And it's pissing. I'm telling you, they got more for you. And it's pissing someone up because regardless of the rituals they're doing, you are still standing your ground. The universe is still pouring into you. So you are good you're like an endless supply honey these people don't know what to do it's a lot of envy out here a lot of jealousy a lot of hatred blah 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 we don't care a lot of toxicity a lot of people bombastic side eyeing you because they're not you never will be you because what they're out here trying to steal from you and this chapter is over the universe says these people cannot have what belong to you your debt not your destiny not your abundance not your spiritual abundance baby and divination is a beautiful thing ain't it but but anyways, everything they've been doing has led to nothing but them being caught up in some type of situation they cannot get out of. People don't know, or maybe these people, they didn't know the whole time that they were being monitored on security cameras, uh, emails being monitored, text messages, phone calls. Somebody, there's a phone call that was recorded that someone in the court system has of you. And honey, that's the, that's the, that, that's the little, uh, um, cherry on top for that person oh they love it they're happy when they listen to their voice messages oh yes this is what we needed and they've had that phone message that phone call recording for a long time and you didn't even know you've been out here just being reckless 
being told to move on, but you don't want to move on. You feel invincible, felt invincible. So you say you're going to do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, that person you were coming after, they didn't have no money to do anything back, to fight back. So you're going to take them out. It's going to be as easy as taking something from a baby. And then you after around and found out that the ancestors of that person watches them 24-7. And whatever you're trying to t steal from them, they are securing that. I, said, I wish you would touch it because they know who that belongs to okay you could have a group of people that are distancing themselves from you maybe embarrassed to be affiliated with you um so i don't know what it is you think you're about to do i'm telling you either this queen of wands or this sagittarius whoever is coming towards you with a bold face half truth and a half truth is a full lie okay when he comes to you and he starts telling you what this person did what that person did asking what did you do sir what did you do ma'am Oh, it's going to be silence of the lamb. That's what's going to catch them off guard. Because you know when people can come to you and tell you how he said this and she said this about you, he said this about you, she said this about you, and they say, oh, really? What did you say, though? Crickets. Crickets. I'm telling you, crickets, that's when they have to go within and think. Think, think, think of an answer, and then let us know, okay? Think, 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 think. You got to think, Okay? think someone is afraid of being left out in the cold this is why they're coming towards you because they stand to lose everything this is their plan baby to come towards you they say if we go towards her and we give her some friendship we go towards him and give him a friendship we won't be left out in the cold but no 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 the, the justice system is balancing this sucker out you all have to let go of something that does not belong to you this little role play you've been doing for a long time feeling that something belongs to you. This is a whole group of people, group of friends, had a right to poverty. You guys have been playing a role for a long time. Someone out here has been paying people behind the scenes to keep their mouth hushed, to keep someone trapped, control someone, uh, play mind games, cause a lot of conflict in someone's life, all kinds of stuff. And now I'm telling you, they've been paying people behind the scenes. Someone out here has been pretending to be someone of high honor. And this is all over. You got a king of cups and a queen of pentacles that are planning something new. The both of them may not even be doing, be, may not be doing well. They're trapped in something they cannot get out of, out of. They don't know how to fix something. I'm telling you, maybe they want to, they're planning to come in and apologize. Maybe you don't need no apologies from these people because it don't, it's not worth a dime. It's not even worth a penny because they don't even mean the apology that they're giving you. Okay. It is just, oh, okay. I'm saying sorry because I got busted. I'm saying sorry because the two of you are still coming together. I'm saying sorry because you're still going to be successful. You're, yeah, you're still going to be successful. You still receive that communication you were supposed to receive of your still, or you're still going to receive that communication you were supposed to. You're still growing after we try to block you, trap you, weigh you down, burden you, take you out. Ain't nobody taking you out. Your ancestors say you are here to fulfill your purpose and you are going to fulfill that purpose this lifetime and you better know that okay it said you had some type of idea of what people were plotting for you ahead of time and this is what's allowing you to move on so now that this queen of pentacles knows that they're not taking you out this is why she's planning to come towards you to apologize you don't need no apologies this, this woman don't mean it it's a lie Someone may even be trying to find a crafty way to get into your energy just to maybe even give you some money to have you walk away or have you confused out here trying to figure out what decision you should make. Have you second guessing yourself so you can end up making the wrong move because this is someone very disingenuous. They may even want to give you an offer so you can work with the family that's been trying to take you out. Maybe we see you at a mile's distance. Don't come to worse. Oh, we're good. We're good in the light community. We don't need nothing from you. What belongs to us is what we are going to have. Okay, baby? That's called atonement, completion, balance. Okay? That is the only choice in this situation. What belongs to us is what you are returning and letting go of. So all this planning to come in and say, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. We don't care. Okay? Save it for the birds. Chirp, chirp, chirp. That would not be us. You see the birds right there? Go find one of them and go talk to them. We don't care about none of that. Okay? The actual lady of high honor and privileged lady is having a new beginning. Um, and this is allowing her to leave some type of uh, uh, 
I don't know, like state where she, maybe you, he, she, whatever it is, was living in poverty, living in like having to balance things out. You're about to be having a whole new passionate beginning, leaving an institution that didn't have any good intentions for you or a community, a family, a partner that didn't have no good intentions for you. And you are moving on to have wish fulfillment and have victory. Keep on speaking your truth, living in your truth. There may be a queen of source out here. I keep picking up on this heifer repeatedly. I'm so sick of this woman. This is someone going through some type of emotional outburst behind the scenes because people know that you are the truth. You are the actual choice. You are the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help you and source. Okay. Uh, and because this woman knew this, she took some type of impulsive action. They didn't want anyone else to find out that you were the truth. She either took some type of action to block somebody's work, block somebody uh, in a nine to five, some type of opportunity, been working with a whole group of people, a network of people behind the scenes to have you trap lying on you and things like that. Yeah. They were trying to trap you, block you from being seen, but baby, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Still being out here balanced and living your bougie, a wee wee life and still manifesting yourself. That new beginning, uh, still receiving your downloads from the ancestors, still manifesting what your destiny. Okay. You're still manifesting your destiny, a destiny. Hey, they can steal your destiny, baby. They cannot have your destiny. That song has been playing in my mind, in my head all day today. It said they cannot steal your destiny. Your destiny belongs to you and only you. So you better be confident and know that this group right here, this is the end of the road for them. Source does not care how many ideas they come up with, any plans they come up with to take you down. You are still receiving what is yours. All they're doing is martyring themselves when they keep paying people to cause you losses and things like that. It's like the more they take from you, the more source gives to you, baby. I don't know if you knew that. It's that, oh, you took $20 away. You know what? We're going to give them $100. You took $1,000 away. You know what? We're going to give them $10,000. What about that, uh, uh, Betty? Okay, I'm telling you, growth acceleration taking authority of your life you're in charge of your victory having this new beginning it's coming in quickly you are a queen of cups baby the true queen of cups not that one that's playing a role out here throwing a temper tantrum because things didn't go her way and they're being pulled out of a home being let go or being pulled out of an institution being uh, unemployed hey hey somebody's getting fired hey hey yeah somebody's getting fired they're gonna have to figure out how to make ends meet just like you had to figure out how to make ends meet but you did it the right way you did it in the upright you didn't have to come out here sneaking anyone you actually got out here thought of a new beginnings of beginning of yourself came up with something new and you got out here and put in that work you said you will know what i gotta take charge of my life and be practical about this situation they, just, they don't want me to have that opportunity to keep blocking everything i i try to do i go try to do to work a nine to five you know get with this person get with that person to uh, a network they keep blocking every opportunity, invading my life. So you know what? I'm going to go do something on my own. So you decided to go and do your own thing. You didn't know where it was going to lead you, but you kept investing into it. And baby, this is you. This is you. And it's causing a whole tower for these people because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you are still going to be connecting with like-minded people as yourself. Someone will be connecting with you that is genuinely interested in working with you. This could be a kink of source that's just as hardworking as you and wants to have a victory with you, wants to give you some type of offer, maybe communicating something to you, communicating some type of clarity. This is someone that's living in fear, though. Maybe they have some type of emotions for you, want to work with you. The thing they're not going to tell you is that they were meant to be part of this institution, or this could be someone that's very high ranking in an institution. Maybe they're even afraid that you're going to see right through them. So thread with caution. This is someone that's more than likely been through a lot. This is someone in the court system. And they may be in the upright. Maybe they made a wrong decision before without knowing the truth, the full truth, nothing but the truth. So help him source. But now maybe he knows the truth or this could be someone new in this case that's choosing to balance things out, right? They can't buy him. Whoever else was in this case before was bought 
and was lying and was enabling people to keep stealing from you. Someone was out here with access to money that she should not have access to. So she felt invincible and was out here paying people, not knowing that she was trapping them to a court case. Now all of them will have to go in and testify as to why they were doing certain things. They said, oh, we have, uh, we took an oath. We cannot say anything. Oh, you really? You took an oath. You can't say nothing. Okay. 25 years. You still don't want to say nothing. Oh, baby. They're about to be sinking like a canary. <laughs> Their oath is dead and gone. And what oath? What oath? You mean what? I'm going to lose time with my family. I'm not going to see my kids for 25 years because of something this heifer told me to do. This heifer paid me to do. And you said what? Nah, 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 nah. It was Betty. Betty was the one that said that we should block her forward movement, which should cause conflict in her life, hold on to what belongs to her, make people think that she's delusional, she's crazy, she don't deserve what it is that's her. This was all Betty's idea. If you don't know where Betty lives, Betty lives at one, two, three, four, five, irrelevant land, thinking that she's more important than everybody else. Betty is a low down, she is not an empress, she ain't a high priestess, but she wanted us to help her come across that way, so that's why we went to this extent. She paid us money. You know money talk BS walk, sir. So we did our job. We were hired and we did our job. Oh, okay. Keep on talking. That's what the investigator is going to say. Can we make a deal? That's, that, that's what, what the, the convict is going to be saying. Can we make a deal? The investigator, oh, you tell me what information you have, then I'll see what I can do. Lord, this whole family is about to be out here burden, a burden. Gonna be out here a burden, been working real hard to force something to go their way. And I've been telling you all time and time again for almost two months, it's not going your way. It don't matter how hard you try to defeat someone. I know you all are a bunch of narcissists in the same family, same community, refusing to grow up and leave people alone. Go focus on your own destinies. But you want to be out here focused on doing more rituals that ain't working. How are you going to do moon rituals on gods and goddesses? What is wrong with you, especially moon goddesses? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? want to argue. Who want to argue with you? The moon don't even be listening to you all. You be like, who the heck are you? You want me to what? You want me to do what to Artemis? Oh, no, 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 no. Artemis is my kind. You crazy? You crazy? How are you gonna go do more rituals on a moon goddess? What's wrong with you? Okay, now. Uh, you're out here confused because someone is still receiving their offer. Just the angry, bitter, unsure of this woman is locked up, still living in fear about you receiving what belongs to you. And what belongs to you is what the Most High has deemed for you. So this man here is whoever this actual King of Cups is. If this is the person in the upright, he's receiving what is yours. I mean, what is his? Excuse me. God forbid. Tofia Kwa. Should, ever, so should someone ever receive what is yours? Someone is receiving something and maybe coming into your life to balance something out for some of you. And for some of you, there's a King of Cups out here that wants to have what belongs to you. And he's been having people help him behind the scenes to make something go in his favor. And it's not going in his favor. Okay? This is why he's plotting and planning. There could be a King of Cups in a community that is sick and has been spreading some type of disease to people and has been trying to pretend like it was somebody else doing it so you all may want to be careful with that while you're out here helping someone in another person's beginning and he's out here spreading far and wide you might you all may want to think about that you think you better think okay someone that's done one a masculine investing in your business she don't want to see that stuff. They've been gossiping, all kinds of stuff, but they're going to have to move on, baby, because you're about to be seen, seen, okay? The truth is out. 
which is leading to these people moving on your your if you're on social media because that's a page of stories has to do with social media sometimes maybe you're about to be out here seeing your work someone wants to invest into it someone is living in fear of someone else investing into your work i don't know what to tell them but it is what it is it is what it is you and this person will be coming together to work together it could lead to love maybe you two are gifted as can be and you know exactly you know intuitively that this is which fulfillment is going to start off as a friendship. You two will be very supportive of one another and it's going to lead to a 10 of pentacles. This is your emperor. Oh, and there's another emperor behind the scenes that's very unhappy because he cannot trap uh, a queen of cups. And he's disappointed because a queen of cups knows him for exactly the slime that he is. Okay, it's an insecure man out here. That's, I'm telling you, insecure man out here that's telling a lot of lies, trying to trap someone in something. This is all over, darling. He's trying to end your destiny, end your pathway. And there's something that the universe is doing to this man that is humbling him. He's trying to put an end to you and someone coming together and having this wish fulfillment. This man said over his dead body, he's throwing a whole temper tantrum because someone feels entitled to your energy and they know that you have the strength to move forward and keep speaking clarity into a situation, uh, manifesting your dreams and things like that, healing. Someone is very bothered by the fact that you can heal. Someone's very bothered by your ability to heal. It's like they do something to you today and then tomorrow Tomorrow you wake up and your brand's thinking you. It's like nothing ever happened. Whole time they're going through some type of death. Someone is passing away. And that's, that, that's, that's some type of rebirth. Death, rebirth, regeneration, whatever you want to call it, is going on. And you are having this new beginning, honey. Someone knows that you are listening to your intuition and it may be pissing them off. Yeah. They know you're being practical about a situation. You, they also know that a king of pentacles is being practical about a situation so that he can take action and do the work to have this new beginning, baby. It's pissing someone off. They say, why is he being practical? Why is he being nice? He don't need to be nice. It's all these people. Why, 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 why? You know, there's something some karmics, they do. They think if they tell you you're stupid long enough that you're actually going to believe that they're stupid, that you're stupid. Listen, the, the ancestors don't even want it to come out. They said they're stupid. They'll tell you something about yourself for a long enough, so long enough they think you believe it. Or they'll tell other people something about you so long enough that they just expect everybody to believe it and go along with it. Lo and behold, they come back. They talk to you and uh, it's like, no, I'm still confident out here. I still know the truth about who I am. I don't know what you thought you was doing. That little cute witchcraft, voodoo, mind, mental magic you've been doing. It's real cute. We're going to need you to upgrade that. That's all you know how to do. That's all you know how to do. You don't know how to heal. You don't know how to heal. Oh, poor little thing thing. You don't know how to communicate with the ancestors. They don't talk to you. They backed away from you. Oh, poor little thing thing. You don't know how to manifest. You don't have the gift of a manifestation to manifest your uh, abundance. Oh, poor little thing thing. Oh my gosh, you can't go within to figure out what it is you need to do, what direction you need to take, how to solve your own problems and things like that. All you know how to do is cause problems for other people and pretend to be something you're not. Poor little thing thing. Poor little thing thing. Out here crying because the emperor is taking charge of their life. It's a whole emperor, baby. What did you think was going to happen? It's a whole emperor taking charge of his life, going within, healing, introspecting. Something he's never done before. He's saying, I ain't never done this before. No, someone is becoming an actual emperor. Actual, actual emperor. Finding his strength to overcome the BS. Now when certain people come around him, they are low vibrational as heck. He said, hmm, I smell BS. Ah! That's because they are BS, sir. They are BS. You smell the right thing. You don't want to sniff it for too long because it can be very potent. If you stick around it for too long, the smell don't get no better. It gets intenser, intense, intense, and intense. It just keeps getting worse. So get away from them as far as possible. Oh, yes, baby. Queen of Pentacles. You are receiving your ace of pentacles just like I've been predicting on my channel for two months. Baby, the queen of pentacles in the upright. Oh, darling, you are receiving your ace of pentacles, your ace of cup, ace of swords, ace of... Baby, you're getting everything your heart ever desire because you've put in the work and you are successfully closing out this chapter while your nemesis are out here sick, having mental breakdowns, and you're just... Oh, uh, are you okay? Can I get you some water? You want some water? 
you know, it's very good for your health. I know you guys have been downing a lot of bottles, but H2O is very good for you. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking out for you. That's all. You got to talk to them like they talk to you. You know, when dark sisters, when they're stealing from you, manipulating you, or trying to, you know, act like they're more powerful than you, trying to prove a point, that's when they talk to you real calm and stuff, act like they're advocating for you the whole time they're sneaking you behind the scenes. I had a woman that I worked with before like that. Oh, her sister was all Christian, but when she got into some type of cult-like mentality with the rest of the people, oh, baby, that high pitch went so high, I said, God dang. I wanted to leave her a message and said, I know, but I just left it. I said, she's going to figure it out. To my knowledge, my intuition, she figured it out. <laughs> it's nothing but conflict with these people in this spread here, honey. I don't know what to tell them, but it's all conflict. They're trying to figure out how to block this, this, uh, uh, this king of wands here. from. Uh, how to, excuse me. How to block this king of wands from what? Rejecting them? Nah, this man, this man want to leave. I don't know who he's going to. Hopefully not one of our light worker sisters or brothers. Because this is a man that's unhealed. So hopefully he's not coming to one of you. But this brother is going to leave when he wants to. He's out here trying to sneak away to go bring justice in a situation that he created himself. Because he was just as much as part of this nonsense as they. I'm telling you, this brother is unhealed. He ain't trying to do the work. He was part of this institution. Just as conniving, living in fear because he knows something is being balanced out. The truth is coming out that he has been trying to steal something, get away with something in the court system. He's been tempering with the court system. Information, letters, documents. He has an insider that he uses to do his dirt. I'm telling you, he has an insider that he uses to do his dirty work. Okay, he misuses his his connection to the court system, to the justice system. And all they do is manipulate and take reckless actions out here. This is a choice. This they're not confused. They're not confused. They know exactly what they are doing. Okay? Partners in crime, been friends for a long time. They might they might call might call each other brothers. Yeah, they've been working together for a long time, trying to set up an uh, Empress energy, and now they're upset because an Empress and a King of Pentacles may end up together. I don't know what the heck this is, but the both of these people are standing their ground, confident as can be out here, moving on with their life, may end up having a family together, and it has these people jealous, pissed off, and everything. This whole institution is jealous angry, bitter, living in fear because all of the illusions is out or out, excuse me, can lie no more. Nothing. They can't lie no more. And they're still out here trying to plot and plan on how they can get away with something. You can't get away with nothing. These high priestesses know you are future. This is the and, and I know you all are stubborn, going to keep lying, trying to stop a high priestess from taking, what, action to balance their life out, make decisions, and have some type of fresh start in life. Baby, what in the world? This is a different kind of stubborn. This is a different kind of stupidity. This is a different kind of vibe when it comes to low down and dark. It's a whole different vibe. You want to tell me someone is in jail, they're in prison, not worry about their safety. They're more worried about sending death spells. You're really calling a high priestess to ask them, did you send the death spell that I ordered? Did you send the uh, sickness spell that I ordered? Really? Did you send the confusion spell that I ordered? Girl, you need to have several seats. You're about to have to be strong now, just like those high priestesses, those light workers. In the upright, had to be strong. You're going to have to be strong. Look at you moving forward in victory to many options. You got options out here, but be careful which one you choose. Do not limit yourself. Do not live in fear because there's some type of voodoo or witchcraft going on out here where people want may want you to reject all of your new offers and things like that and have you secluded. Like They want you to reject everything and you can stay in isolation because this is the kind of spell work they've been sending towards you. Fear, rejection, isolation. If she goes to him, if he goes to her, they're going to reject him. They're going to reject her. No, 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 no. You're going to step out here on faith and take 
whole of life. Grab that bowl by the horn and move forward in confidence. Even if you don't get it right, there was a lesson to learn in it. That should be your mindset. You don't got to rush in anything. You know, on my channel, I always say, don't be in a hurry for anything. You can sit back, analyze things before you make a decision, before you decide what to commit yourself to. But don't be out here living in fear of nothing or nobody, okay? Because, baby, when you take charge of your life, that's when the enemy is dismantled. They don't got no power over you, nothing. Anyways, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I will see you in my next read. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.